Good morning, everybody. Uh, it is the 23rd of January on Monday, and quite a bit happened over the weekend. Um, <clears throat> have some really good news and uh, some bad news that we can talk about later. But the really good news is that uh, Manny and their dev team actually hired another person, and he's going to be the guy that puts out videos and announcements. So uh, I already listened to two of his videos that he's in, put out. Um, the first one's pretty long. Uh, he just goes over all the Discord, uh, how to kind of go through the Discord and, and how to navigate it. Um, but I think the rest of the videos that he's going to put out will probably be quite a bit shorter, um, less repetitive. So, you know, bless Manny for uh, hiring someone that will be a little more um, precise and get things going to where uh, we can do some announcements and updates. Um, so I'll put these two videos at the end of the, the video here today. Um, hoping not to make it too long, but I have a feeling it's going to be quite long. Um, so I wanted to start out right here and just to show you um, basically what we're doing is there <clears throat> the new contract that I've got up here. We've got um, $100 that I put in and right now I'm showing $3.45. Uh, earned in the last three days. Um, they did post a, a calculator that I'll put in the description below and um, the link to it. The nice thing is is it I mean it actually allows you to put in the daily percentage um, and I went ahead and on the discord they actually have a section that says um, daily trading percentage and so it'll show you what you're doing for the week. Uh, the first day was 0.5% and people were definitely not happy with that. <laughs> so, they, uh, so the guy, this guy named Pocket Aces, that's the new guy. Um, and make sure if you ever get DM'd by him that it's Pocket Aces 0420. Um, he, that's the number at the end of his name so that you don't get deceived. Um, so many people are coming on uh, the to you know deceive people to to try and rip them off um, scammers, but we could talk about that in a minute. But he does go over that too on how to try and not to uh, get scammed. Um, but the second day we, they came in with one percent and then one point two percent yesterday, one point two five, and so it gives you the average. And so after seven days, uh, you'll know what the the claimable percent is for your account and understand a little more uh, how they're getting it and of course this is the the percent that their bot is getting <clears throat> and right now they're pumping a bunch of money into these contracts to do the withdrawals um, he said this is won't be typical because once they get everything into one account and they can take out the 75 percent again and start trading with it you'll see a higher percentage uh, this is just because it's kind of fluctuating, going up and down like crazy as far as their trading balance. So um, that makes sense to me. But anyway, that'll go up and they'll just go from there and hopefully start hitting some twos for a good solid, solid while, a couple months. Um, so the nice thing that he explains too is that you can actually... Um, still compound or uh, reinvest your investments uh, while you're waiting for your refund so between the three and five days and that's what I did last night last night I had um, you go into B and C BSC and you'll see in this one that your account see this actually was about five thousand four hundred or something like that and so I was able to compound last night uh, the amount and it added to my balance and my harvested gems which was really nice very nice of them to allow us to keep doing that compounding while we're waiting um, and to do that you click on this here and it brings up the contract you go under contract you go to read contract 
<clears throat> scroll down to number 22 and as you can see I already did that maybe I'll just start over so let's and this is still going strong I got 81 referrals on crypto program but click on that brings us this up here you click on contract click on read contract scroll down to user info and then it asks for your address so copy and paste your address which is right here uh, we're going to go to number two that's where my so copy that paste it here and then hit query and it'll bring up this link so just click on that and it brings up this page here so on the right go down to BNB scroll over and if this is above fifty dollars you'll be able to reinvest it and add it to your balance that they're gonna refund you so I just barely refunded another fifty dollars on that um, so it's only two dollars right now but yeah if you go back over here if it's above fifty dollars you hit right contract hit connect your wallet and if it's the first time you'll have to confirm connecting your wallet and then the second time you do it it'll bring this little box up here and you hit OK just make sure your wallet address is in there and then you just click reinvest and hit right and it'll add that to your balance cool all right um, I wanted to talk about I guess the bad news was that I've had people say that they've uh, their wallet's been compromised so they they get on discord and I think <clears throat> this particular was they put a they put an inquiry in um, and someone DM'd him DM them and it was pulse and pulse is one of the the dev people but it was a scammer pulse like they could just come on here and put pulse on there and but it'll be a different number to the right so you have to do some research and make sure that it's the right pulse or if you're and apparently they they never DM you it's always you starting a DM and then they'll contact you back so unfortunately this person you know the pulse guy told her to, oh I can help you with your deposit just go to this website and that's what happened and so what happens is they at least this happened to me remember I told you about my number one here if you go to my first one there's no ETH in there <laughs> um, so yeah that was compromised and anytime there's any ETH in there it like about a less than a minute later it'll be taken out like it's automatically withdrawn to whatever scammers address that they've got set up um, but I did notice that I still was able to use this wallet with any other coins now if anyone else has any experience where it did take out any other coins um, let me know in the description below but in my in my experience I was able to take all my other coins that were in here um, and just transfer them to another wallet so to do that you just click on create an account and it'll bring up a number two account so you'd be able to create multiple wallets and from there um, let me just go over to another wallet I'll just go to three and <clears throat> like say Binance if the BSC contracts withdrawing for you it's going to withdraw under USDT and so if it does come into that compromised wallet your BNB is still going to be gone it's going to be zero but if it comes in to USDT you just have to click on it and then hit send and you'll be able to see it says transfer between in my accounts so you can actually click on that and then if you had your first wallet compromised you can just say transfer to the second wallet and you can put max for BNT or USDC USDT and then hit next and it'll just transfer your USDT into USDT on your second account so 
that's why I was saying, you know, don't don't worry about it too much. Um, just be sure you you are aware of your money that comes in, and when your deposit does come in, just transfer it over to a second account that you created. So make sure you get another account created. Holy cow, there's a lot of numbers there. <laughs> Up to 18, I guess, on that one. Um, so that's that's one way to get around a compromised wallet. Of course, your second wallet, you'll have to go through, you know, making sure you have some BNB in there. And if you do that, you can always click buy and you'll have to go through the Transac or MoonPay to put a little bit of BNB in there so you can start trading your your funds that you just put in because you'll be able to put this in to USDT but you won't be able to send that to the new contract on a PGV because there's no uh, BNB in here to, to, to do the fees you know that, that cost fees or you can transfer it from your exchange wallet like but for me, if I something like that happen, I just transfer from my Binance account, put BNB in here, you know, like 60 bucks or so, and then it'll cover your fees for a while, for a long while. Anyway, um, so that's a way to get around a compromised wallet. Um, this guy actually, the second video that he puts in or that he talks about, he talks about how to avoid compromising your wallet so that'll be very informative to a lot of people so today I'm going to do my Tron I'm gonna re as you can tell on this one when I connect I have like 20,000 that I can harvest at any time it's been past seven days um, so this one I'm going to go ahead and reinvest. Um, I'm going to harvest it and then just go ahead and, and put it back in there. So right now in my account I have 115,500. I've harvested 5,600 so far. So I'm going to harvest gems. Go to my, my Tron wallet. Do my sign there. We'll see how fast that goes through there. We'll do zero there. Did I connect? Nope. Connect. There it is. Zeroed out. Then you go to your account and it shows 115, but it shows 26,000 harvested. <clears throat> now, if you go to your wallet up here, you'll see 20,000 in TRC 20. <clears throat> So let's see, let's uh, 20,745. I might as well just put everything in there. 20,745. Hunt gems. Sign. So this one's going to be cut off on the 26th. <clears throat> While that's going through, let me read another announcement here that was over the weekend it says okay as everyone knows our BSC USDT contract is closed and we are processing refunds our next step after that will be starting the same process with Tron contract so that being said Thursday January 26th that's uh, three days from now at 5 p.m. we will stop all withdrawal claims on the Tron contract and we'll be starting the refund process for Tron. From there, we will be moving to Polygon, stopping all withdrawals and claims on Polygon on February 23rd and at 5 p.m., and we'll be starting the refund process for Polygon. From there, the February 10th, <clears throat> everyone sh will have their refund. Then we will have only one contract there moving forward, which is the BSC USDC contract that was released and releasing our trade bot software to the public so February 10th they're hoping to get all that done um, so I know the other contracts only like 0.9 percent right now so that's why I refund or um, recompounded this one back into Tron even 
two days of 2% is pretty good with the uh, percentage there. So let's check and see if it went in. Gotta up, update this one, connect. And there it is, so 136,299 now and 26,000 harvested. So they'll, and it sounds like they just force you out. So I don't know if anyone knows different if you have to put a claim in or not a claim but a full deposit refund um, I don't know but <laughs> I'm gonna just leave this one in there and earning two percent <clears throat> and hopefully with the contract um, we'll be able to still even when that's three to five days we'll still be able to redeposit um, I'll give that a try once they do this I'll see if we can redeposit what we're earning here um, while they're still doing the contract refunds uh, let's see let's go to polygon and number th number three polygon we'll click over to here uh, that's number two let's go to number two first so the two Ventures, Re refresh that. So on this one, there's 5,195, and this one's the one that I just, yeah, 93,000. So this one that I, I just did like two days ago, it was the 20, 21st or something like that, that I was able to re-up re it. So now it says the 23rd or 27th before I can harvest these gems. So that one we'll, uh, we'll just hold on to. Um, when I go over here, I can, I can uh, get that off. So I just disconnected the site here and then I'd be able to go to my number three and then go back to doing that, refreshing, and then I can connect my number three wallet. It brings up all the info on that. And let's see on this one. Yeah, we had 45,000 in there. And this one we're gonna, we've got 8,000 to claim and it's ready to claim. So I'm gonna go ahead and claim that. Um, and just put it right back in there. So let's harvest that. A really cool thing, gas prices are high, 0 0.03, Polygon, that's not bad at all. Okay, confirm. The cool thing that's new uh, that I didn't notice before, I just did that 20,000 claim and I got a an actual alert on my phone that said you have transferred out 20,000 I never had that before that's kind of cool uh, let's see is the still pending there it goes okay I'm gonna refresh this and the same account there Okay, I'm gonna go to my wallet and see if that money's in there. 8,000, there it is. 8,105, okay. Yep, so I'm gonna deposit 8,105. All right, so then I'm gonna go ahead and deposit 8,105 that was in my wallet. Busy gas prices. Not that busy to me. Oh, that went fast. Wow. So that took that out pretty quick. Already got a dollar there. I'm going to go check my wallet activity here. See when this comes through. There it goes. Come back over here and do a little upgrade or refresh connected okay 
Yeah, we got 53 in there, 53,507. We've claimed 21,700. Okay, so that's all set. We did our claiming today on Monday, and I will go ahead and put my these two videos on there from uh, Pocket Aces, the new dev guy, and see how you like them. All right, we'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much, and hopefully that answers a lot of questions, uh, especially about what came out this weekend and what's going on going forward. <laughs> talk to you later. Bye. Good evening, everyone. I have some really excited news for, for me, and hopefully other people will find it. It seems like the Discord is enjoying this new announcement. Uh, but for Prosperity Gem Ventures, I've actually joined the team, and I'm now going to be doing the video creation for any updates and different changes inside the system. Um, and then uh, also going to be a mod inside there, so looking forward to spending some more time with you guys there. Uh, just really excited to be able to bring you guys some concise co information, hopefully really break it down in great ways for you to make it uh, digestible. Uh, there will be chapters in this video, uh, so please use it uh, to come back to if you need to, to kind of re-verify details, or if you're trying to help somebody in the Discord, doesn't hurt to copy and paste the chapter link, which will be below, might not be right away, but soon, uh, within a couple hours after I get the video out, uh, in order to help bring them right to that information that they're looking for, uh, just to make sure it's clear for everybody. So uh, without too much delay if you can first uh, hit that like subscribe button down below and if you do have a moment hit that bell notification and that way you'll get the information right away as it's released uh, i do often do come some quick little shorts as well for this one that i've been doing over the past little bit uh, to make sure you guys are well informed on the changes because uh, as much as there is a lot of changes with this i do feel there and the reason why i've joined the team is because i'm very confident that these changes are adding to the sustainability of this protocol which i do appreciate uh, especially in such an environment that we're in right now with a lot of, well, rug pulls for lack of a better term. Um, so we're going to start with the USDT one because that's the one going through the most flux right now. Um, and as you can see, it's been very bare bones minimalized. Uh, one of the first things obviously is if you haven't done so already, it's probably a good time very soon to request a refund. Uh, I will link uh, up in the corner, up in the corner there. Um, what, uh, how to do that because I've already gone through this, so I'm not going to explain it again in this video, uh, but please do get that done. And then on top of that, obviously there's the view contract. So a couple of things to view on the contract to help uh, if there's anything you need to do is go to the read first. And before I get too crazy on that, I just wanna illustrate that this part right here, uh, so that the balance inside the contract, that's gonna be going up and down quite drastically, uh, especially right now because of everybody exiting this one and going into the other one. I think that also has something to do with the rates of return that we're getting right now and why we're not getting necessarily to 2%. There's a lot of people that just think magically all this money is everywhere. You've got to understand that this contract really to me is going to be getting the least amount of money for right now because we're still paying 2% on the other contracts, which then are um, kind of sucking all of it out. But hopefully most of us are in that one anyways as well. Once we get everybody moved out of the BSC one being the bigger one and everybody into the USDC, I think that one's going to have the biggest effect and we should start seeing a more stabilized return uh, after that point. So, and we've already seen a nice increase from half a percent to 1% today. Uh, so moving on from there, if we scroll down here, one of the first things I want to draw your attention to is user information. Uh, so I'm just going to grab my wallet address right now. And what you're going to see when I go into here is it will tell me now. And if you want to, so this number might look really weird to you. And we've gone through some stuff about this, about reading contract stuff, but to make it really easy on yourself, just click on the number. And what you'll see is right here with BNB, there's $6.56 sitting in that contract right now of what I've accumulated. So I did test it and I've already done a recompound, uh, but for your sake, that's why that number is there. And if this number is not $50 or more, you won't be able to, re, uh, to redeposit into the contract for now while you're waiting for your refund. So for that, uh, we're gonna go back over here. Now that we know that we have that, if we were to have over that $50, what you would then do is go to write contract and you just connect your wallet and then go down to reinvest. When you click on reinvest, it's very simple. You just hit the right button and then the, your MetaMask or whatever wallet you're using will come up. When that comes up, if you see this red box and see that the gas fees are astronomical, that's because you don't have the 50 bucks in there or something else is wrong, but more likely than not, it's the $50. So you just hit reject. Uh, or again, if you did have the $50, you'd accept it. It'd have the regular gas and everything would be fine. 
Uh, so back over here. That's really about it with the BSC one. It's gonna be gone soon. You can accept the same process once we go through the Polygon and the Tron one to bring those over to the USDC one. Uh, and then once everything's all done, we're business as usual and everything will be uh, all great inside here and much, sim much more simplified. Um, so if you are a new investor, actually, no, I'm gonna go through that afterwards, sorry. Um, and then as you can see on here, uh, th there's a lot of data on here, but the main one I wanna focus on first is the account. If you click on there, you're gonna see how much you've deposited, how much you've harvested, so you'll know whether you've ROI'd or not. Uh, so that's a great little spot, kind of just to check, check out that information. On top of that, if you go a little lower, once you actually are available for refund, that $100 will appear here after those 15 days are, are done. So just something to keep in mind. That's why that's zero right now is because I've only been in for two days or uh, just under two days, I guess, really. Um, and obviously the normal thing when you want to do a deposit, you put your amount there, minimum $100, and hunt for your gems and that deposited into the contract. And the rest of this is your normal information. So how much has been pumped into the contract, um, how much the total funds are in there, uh, and the balance right now and all that stuff so everything's there ready to go and if you do need to see the contract just like the other one you can go in here and do that um now the big thing i want to spend some time on here is uh the about uh, so basically in here if you click about us you'll see the rewards pool so this was one of the big things that is changing sustainability for this protocol and again really exciting move here as much as everybody would love to earn two percent every day we're seeing what's happening with those protocols and the fact that manny has decided to pivot like this in a way uh for as he says here real sustainability this is really awesome uh and then the bots on top of that for you guys to to benefit even more and in different ways also great so rewards pool uh, our incredible rewards pool offers 0.05 to 2% daily. So a nice large limit there uh, based on the market conditions. And so what's going to happen here and what I really want to hammer home here is in the Discord, and I'll show you that later, there's going to be a breakdown and there's a literally one Discord spot which will go through all of this information. And as the uh, rates get updated, he's going to put them in there. At some point, uh, the website will get updated, the USDC, and we're going to see the rates right down here at the bottom uh, or something like that anyways. It'll show the daily ones that have been running for that week kind of thing. Um, but the big thing to keep in mind is that's going to become less and less uh, of a factor. Right now we're early on and we've only got two days in the play, so our rates are 0.5% and 1%. And as you might be able to realize, when you average those out, it's 0.75. So in my case, uh, I have... Uh, $100 in there, I'm getting 0.75 a day, and so I'm getting 75 cents times two is 150. So I'm a little below that because my 0.5 day, I was not in the protocol for, for the whole 24 hours. So that's why I'm below the 150, uh, be more of a time thing, not a rate thing. Um, so the big thing here is right now they have this calculator that you can access that kind of gives you a little bit of an hour uh, an average rate so right now as you can see it's 0.75 and as this week progresses hopefully rates are going to increase a little bit to help increase that average for us so let's say 1.2 1.5 uh let's say it gets it drops down for a day to, to uh point to uh, point five eight sure uh and then bounces back up again to 1.8 um so as that all averages out as you can see the numbers changing less and less like when i added this 1.8 it went from 1.096 from point this one only bounced up about 1.1 percent instead of this one where it bounced it up 0.25 percent uh, so as time goes on and as you keep adding to this list of of um rates for that day this is going to start changing in very minute amounts uh like if you happen to have a point uh, a two percent day then it might go up 0. 0.00 something as you get more data built into the database so it's going to end up averaging out to a certain rate it's just for now because we're doing such larger jumps it's jumping it up and down and what you're going to see in here for now well and some people have noticed this and i want to explain this is uh at 4 30 or 5 o'clock when the new rate got, got updated in here my amount went from point 80 cents or something like that up to uh, 130 I think it was and it's just been a little bit of time since that happened and the reason for that jump is the average rate of return went up so my entire portfolio went up with that um, because it's just constantly an average that's moving up and down uh, and all of that's based on what it is at that moment so if I come into the protocol a month from now and the average rate now is kind of stabilized let's say at 1.5 percent then I'm getting in at 1.5 percent and that's what I'm starting from and then as it hopefully goes up or down I'm going to keep 
incrementing my rate up or down uh, depending on when I pull out. So in essence, really all you're worried about is when you pull out, you'd like that that rate to be as high as possible. Um, so if you're waiting, maybe maybe you want to wait two weeks before you pull out because you think that it's going to keep incrementally going on, going higher. That's also a risk because maybe it won't, maybe it'll go down. Um, so I wouldn't overthink it too much. As I said, over time, it's not going to change very much. Uh, but for now, because we're getting, we've only got two data points, it's making drastic uh, swings in how much you can earn. And for now, for the first week, you can't pull out until the seven days are done anyways. So really this is a totally mute point until we get close to the seven days. And then you'll have a better idea of what you're pulling out at anyways. Uh, so, and then for people that are doing spreadsheets and all that stuff, you really don't need to update it daily. There's really no value to it because you don't know what that average rate is gonna be by the end of the week when you're allowed to do your withdrawal. And same thing with the week afterwards, you're just gonna wait and average it out and see what happens at the end of the week when you'll go, okay, this is how much I'm pulling out. And that's what's gonna reflect obviously up here on that account one when it reflects harvested gems you're going to see the amount you actually pulled out on at that time and on here as well just before we move on from this part of the site as you can see there is no redeposit function uh, so i think that's by design uh, and manny kind of went through it very detailed in his video uh, it's not good to claim or to uh, compound endlessly uh, into infinity it's just not helpful for the protocol or yourself uh, you should be taking profits that's the whole point of this is create passive income right so Inside here, that's been taken off. You obviously can still recombound, and it also probably is less gas because a lot of times doing a multiple functions at once kind of increases your gas fees as well. So basically, if you were to choose to do that, you'd harvest gems, and then as long as it's over $100, you'd then be able to redeposit more back into the contract. Uh, but keep in mind, taking profits is definitely a good thing, so don't, uh, don't underestimate that benefit as well. And the nice thing with that two-step process is it does make you kind of think a little bit more and make sure you, you analyze whether you should be taking profit or not or whatever. Um, we've already gone through the refund process. Um, oh, and actually, sorry, going forward, um, the other big thing to note is if you actually click on the refund process here, it'll go through it. Um, so you can do it from the contract. Uh, so in which case for this one, uh, if we just go back again and we click on contract, so I'm just going to show you the steps side by side here. Um, so refund process. So contract, write contract, Web3, connect your wallet, scroll down to exit gem hunt, uh, paste your wallet address and write. So just in case it's ever not on there, I'll just walk you through that. Contract, write contract, connect your wallet. I'm not going to do it, of course, right now. I don't want out of this. Um, and then somewhere here exit gem hunt so number six so you'll click right transaction will come up and then it's all done for you so no more uh, withdrawals for manny uh, he's got his work cut out for him for the next uh, week couple of weeks but after that hopefully he'll free up a lot of time along with me doing some videos for him um so yeah uh, but at the same token you can do it on the dashboard as well where you'll just hit refund here and basically all that does and if, if you don't understand this i'll quickly explain it when you click any of these buttons on here all it really is doing is going to that contract and kind of clicking the button inside the contract uh, it's just a link through through a, 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 a website process um, so it's basically just connected um, and that's basically that so what I want to do right now is possibly I'm just gonna pause for a second and, and we'll maybe go through the discord a little bit and go through some details that are there to also help you uh, find information and uh, hopefully help you uh, make it easy for you to find stuff so you're not always asking uh, in the chat we love discussions it'd be nice if we got off of asking question after question and could get down to more some more general conversations just have some fun as well as um, uh, talk about some specifics on the project uh, so bear with me a second. Actually, before we jump into the Discord, I do want to show this. So um, if you are brand new to uh, Pro Prosperity Gem Ventures, make sure that after you've done your deposit, you come here and you go join Discord. If you are not in the Discord and are invested, then click on this. This link will always work and it'll bring you in there. There's no creating invite links. None of those work. You have to be verified before you can get inside the Discord. Um, so the big thing here is click join discord only once you're an investor it's just a waste of your time and everybody else's if you come in uh, before that because you're just going to get booted out uh, and at some point if you keep doing it you're going to get banned and then it'll be a pain in the butt for you to try and get in because you have to go beg uh, arcane to let you in um, which is never going to be fun because he'll definitely 
put you through the ringers. Um, so if you do need to beg him, because maybe you have been, so do reach out to him and he will go through uh, helping you get back in. Otherwise, click this once you're invested. Uh, and basically all you have to do to get invested is come into the dashboard, deposit your minimum 100 bucks, and then come in and see us and hang out. Uh, but make sure this is the right bet for you. Um, and I probably should have gone into that a little bit and I'll maybe go back and redo my intro, but uh, you, as much as I'm involved in this project, as much as I think there's lots of sustainability options and all that stuff here, uh, this is not, this is still DeFi. This is still a risky thing to do. Um, so please don't just start jumping into it just because I'm now an admin on there. Uh, do your own research, make sure it's the right thing for you, make sure you're diversified, all that jazz. Um, so let's now head into the Discord. Okay, once you've gotten into the Discord, uh, now you're basically gonna read some instructions here, so make sure you read through that. Uh, basically, you need your DMs opened up in order to allow the bot that we have to collect your uh, wallet address and stuff to check if you are an investor. Um, it needs to be opened up for that. Uh, do not request joining if you're not an investor because it, it will get checked. It's checked by the mods. Uh, there is no way to get through if you're not. Uh, you'll have to supply your wallet and it's just a waste of everybody's time if you put your wallet address in there and you're not a, uh, a PGV uh, investor. So also in here, pin messages if you want a walkthrough of how to do it and the steps you need to take with the bot in order to request your wallet, uh, then you can do so right there. So you just type apply and then uh, inside here, it'll walk you through all the different steps. But basically when you click in here, apply, and as you can see, it says application name. So you'll just click that verify wallet and then you hit enter and it'll start your process off. Uh, but the video, like I said, walks you through it all. So no worries there. Um, now I can't get rid of it. <laughs> there we go. Um, other than that, once you've gotten verified, you now have full access over the Discord. Uh, first thing I want to draw your attention to, and this is a common question in the uh, right now in the in the thing, is when when AMA. So when AMA is check a look at events. So I don't think a lot of people, especially if you're if this is your first Discord you've been in, I get it. There's a lot of different things to worry about in here. So at the events up at the top here, this is where you want to check from time to time if you know that there's an AMA coming out and you've forgotten or don't know or whatever. When you click on this. Uh, it'll pull up the information and then you can even click this little interested button. So as you can see, it's a bell. And then when I hit it, now it checks marks it stating that it's going to let me know when that AMA starts. So really great there. And then there'll be a spot later on that we'll see where the links to the AMA will be when they are uh, available. Uh, and that's how you'll get into the AMA because you're usually not done in the discord. <clears throat> So close that up. Um, obviously all your usual stuff here, announcements being one of the other big ones that you want to be aware of. So in here, uh, do keep a lookout and always, if you've been away for a couple of days or whatever, go straight here first is the best thing. Um, I'm assuming the Manny videos will stop. That's kind of my job now is to take care of the communication side of, of the, the video parts of it. Uh, but there will be announcements here from time to time. Any videos that are very important or pertinent information, uh, I will drop in here so that you guys can keep up to date on everything. Uh, and yeah, so AMA invite links like we just talked about, they'll be dropped here. AMA replays, if you miss them, will be dropped here. And obviously in here is an important one. Make sure you're only using verified links and these will all be accurate links that you can use whether you want to get straight to the contract or whether you want to get to the website, uh, any of that stuff, do come here and do that. If you feel like sending a nice word uh, telling Manny how uh, great this protocol is or how great some of the people like myself are, uh, then please come in here and do so. Uh, always nice to get some positive feedback from time to time because we all know how uh, negative sometimes the road can be in this space. Uh, but we're trying to change that with some great projects and uh, and things. All right, and here's the roadmap. So obviously some things have been checked off and uh, and what we're uh, is coming down the road. Uh, so always good to take a look. And the trading bots. So this just shows you the information on how they're they're doing. Oftentimes there's many versions of probably the same bot that are going on. So we're just showing you kind of snapshots of some of them. Uh, but definitely something to keep your eyes on and see the returns that we're getting. So uh, you can see how transparent they are about everything. We are about everything. So uh, QV is always good at putting out uh, some little snippets of information, all the written kind where I'm doing the videos. So this one's just going through the new website and how you do a deposit and harvest and all the different things that you're gonna do on the website. Uh, and that's always great information. Terms and conditions, uh, these are the things that everybody always reads in detail and always signs off on. <laughs> I work for a bank, so I know, I know about rules and regulations that nobody ever reads. Um, and how is revenue being generated? So just going through all the different things on the, on the facts of the protocol. 
training videos. I'm assuming this will be used by me possibly going forward. Uh, we already went through that. So this one here, as we spoke about earlier, uh, this average uh, running average will be a constantly evolving number, uh, but this is the number. So if you get in a month from now, whatever this average is, that's what you're getting in for. That's what your return is going to be. Um, so uh, as time progresses, that will become much more uh, stable uh, and will only really be moving up and down a little bit based on the performance of the bots. Uh, but for now, obviously, we're just starting out, so they're kind of vamping up a little bit there. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. And here is your general chat. So nothing much to worry about there. Reckless running amok as always. Uh, so polls, if we do any are here, um, suggestions. Uh, obviously, if you uh, have any suggestions, uh, even for myself, if your videos or information that you'd like to see me do content up for uh, PGV in order to help you navigate the space, then don't hesitate to at me in here of what you're thinking is not uh, well told. Hopefully this video will answer most of it and get everybody set up, but just in case. Off topic. Obviously, just an off-topic chat place for us to hang out. If you do have someone uh, DMing you that's, uh, for instance, that says their name is Pulse, obviously, if he's not the real Pulse or the real Pocket Aces or Arcane, uh, the one thing to keep in mind, obviously, is that the admins are in red, So, but you can only see that in here. If they're DMing you, we all look kind of the same. The other thing that I'd really recommend with this is if... Um, uh, well, for instance, if I'm messaging you, uh, you want to make sure that my numbers are 420. Um, I forgot about that. We changed our numbers to that for fun in a little group that I was in. Um, so when you're uh, checking it out, oftentimes if I get a text from somebody that I kind of know, but I'm kind of wondering why they're messaging me, I'll go and find them where I know I've had a message directly from them and check their number and compare it to the other one. Uh, that way you're just making it safe for you. Uh, and as a little plug, if you ever need my YouTube channel, it's right in there. Um, so yeah, so if you, that's a really great way to protect yourself and make sure that you're not talking to somebody that you shouldn't be talking to or that you need to ban. Uh, from yourself and uh, anytime you want to do that you can always click on people sorry you're getting the uh, Eric and you're getting the thing you can put uh, in here and click here and you can block so if there's ever anybody that's bugging you and you don't want them around anymore just click block and you'll get rid of them so another little tidbit there for the for the discord um, obviously if you do need some support you can create a ticket here uh, oftentimes a little bit of a side note while I'm looking at this one is uh, people seem to start have started DMing me already um, if you're going to DM any of the mods I'd probably recommend you call it out and ask us permission to DM us we won't DM you either without asking permission in the chat it's just a safer way to play this game uh, because unfortunately there's a lot of people out there that are not uh, being very kind and we've actually seen situations where people get taken advantage of because they think they're talking to somebody honest and then unfortunately they end up doing something like giving money away or stuff. Um, so please, please, please keep yourself safe. Uh, and if you're concerned about anything or you really need to talk to one of us, even creating a ticket or whatever might be an easier way to kind of just uh, get in chat, touch with any of us. Uh, and again, if you're having an issue, of course it's there. Um, refund requests. So this is just a neat little thing that really you can either go to the, you can go to the website to do it. Uh, but if you wanted, you just click in uh, exclamation refund, and then it gives you the link to the website. Uh, as you can see, the links the same. So you can use somebody else's link if you you don't actually have to click this every time. Um, and then resources. So I'm assuming I will help kind of buffer up these resources, possibly with some videos if there's any need to do so. Um, so please have a peek at those. If there's really anything you want to do, this is where you come. Like I can just, as you can see, if you're claiming your full refund, click on here and it gives you instructions on how to do so. If you're uh, new to crypto and you want to you want to take a look at how to do certain things on, a, on your wallet and all that. So just take a moment to come here. There's so much information on this Discord and the website there really isn't a whole lot of questions left unanswered. Um, so do please uh, take that time just to save yourself and everyone uh, the, the, the time because um, it's really easy to find. The other thing I do want to mention about in here is if you are in the general chat uh, and you've maybe missed a question or whatever, uh, a great thing to do before you ask a question if you think it might be a common one is just type it up here. So uh, AMA, if I type that, I, I mean, I, I'm using AMA, it's a bad example, but... Um, because I was, I was expecting it to say, uh, there'd be ones where they'd say, when AMA, I probably should have just done that. Uh, and then we would have answered, hey, look up here. Um, so, and then if you go to that, you're going to see an answer probably right close to it. There we go. See, somebody's answered it right away. So any questions you're asking, like, uh, um, like anything, any questions you're thinking, put in a keyword in here. It'll find it somewhere in that chat if that question's been asked a bunch of times, which nine times out of 10 or more, it's been asked a bunch of times. 
Um, I think that's about it for this video. Um, so I do appreciate your time. And like I said, do hold on to this one or save it somewhere. It'll be in the uh, announcements, I presume, or training videos or somewhere in the Discord. Uh, very easy to access. I will set up some chapters, as I said, uh, but just really important that uh, we use this tool to help uh, save a lot of time because uh, it is, it is a lot of, I mean, I've, I've been uh, quote unquote a, a cameo mod in this place for a while and it's it's funny to see questions sometimes get answered almost back to back when our answer is like literally two sentences higher so anything we can do to help the the team uh be a little bit more uh, productive and help manny keep doing what he's doing uh and help you guys keep your sanity because i know some of you guys are in this uh, Discord quite a bit, and you're very, very helpful. But I know for even for you guys, sometimes it gets a little bit hard to to handle all the uh, the constant rep repetitive questions. But uh, it's all good. We're here for it. Uh, but if you can help yourself with some of this information, then I hope it, it adds some value. So thank you again. I won't make this any longer than it already has been. Uh, I do appreciate everything you guys do for helping me grow the channel. Uh, if you can give me a like and subscribe, I totally appreciate that. And uh, more to come as we need to. Uh, but very, very very excited to be uh, joining the the PVG team, PGV team, and uh, yeah, I, I'm so happy to be here and happy to uh, help support you guys in your uh, journey to passive income with a project that's really uh, getting its name on the map to hopefully be here for a long period of time with the way it's changing. Uh, but as I said, not financial advice, uh, do still do your own research, still do pre spread yourself out and make sure that you're protecting yourself uh, and your assets. So. Uh, Thanks so much and have a good night. Hi guys, good evening. Um, if you, this one's not necessarily specifically a, PV, a PGV one, but at the same token, uh, we're doing it for the Discord. Uh, but if you've ever been concerned about wallet stuff or whatever, I would have a quick peek at this one uh, just to keep yourself safe. Uh, we're getting people coming in that have had their seed phrase asked for people asked for the seed phrases and, and getting hacked and all this stuff. Um, so I'm going to go through a couple of things and obviously just stress on these facts that we've posted. Um, if you give your seed phrases away, this is not a PGV problem. Um, you've chosen to do that. None of us will ever ask you for that. If you're getting approached by anybody in the Discord, as you saw in my other video, make sure they're uh, the four numbers at the end of their name when you go look at it, uh, which I can show you maybe at the end of this quickly, I'll go through that because it'll again, it'll be a pretty short video. Uh, make sure the numbers match. Um, so there's ways to keep you safe in Discord, in Telegram, in, in any, any place you're in. If you're getting DMs, get investigating start asking yourself why this person is DMing you. Uh, if it's Manny and it says PGV creator or whatever, like there's no reason for him to message you. He would DM, he would message you in the chat saying, hey, can you DM me? That's the only way that's gonna happen. If you're on Twitter and somebody messages you and they're from some project, it doesn't really matter if it's Manny, it doesn't matter which project it is. Uh, if they're messaging you, get your backup. Why are they messaging you? Uh, if they start telling you they got money, but you have to send them some first, like all of these things are things that people try. And unfortunately, we keep seeing people fall for it. Um, so hopefully this video will get out to some people that need it uh, and will help you protect yourself uh, from this kind of thing happening. Because this is not something, again, that's unfortunately uh, something we can protect you against. Um, you've got to look at this as if, if you have a ledger, um, then this wallet is not like your regular wallet um you yes it's in the sense yes you have to like have it in your hands like your wallet so you wouldn't go and give this to somebody else just like you wouldn't give your wallet to anybody else it's the same with your digital information that's on here with your metamask um you don't give any of that information to anyone there is never any reason for us to have it the only thing anybody would ever need is if they need to give you money you can give them your regular address for your wallet that you can you use all the time for putting into contracts and all that jazz uh, it's used for referral codes all that kind of stuff so i'm just going to quickly go through these and not take up too much of your time uh, but obviously thing number one is never give your secret phrase or private keys to anyone ever um, that's just the uh, period. There is never a reason to give that information out to anyone. I cannot stress that enough. Um, never add fake, fake tokens to your wallet. So if you don't know a token, if you don't know, and if you find, cause sometimes tokens get added or even NFTs get added. If it's an NFT you didn't buy, uh, it's, it's a Trojan horse. It's something there to try and do something malicious. So don't even touch it. 
Um, cause I have seen that kind of stuff before, whether you may, maybe went on a website or whatever, if you do anything with those tokens, it kind of opens up a back door. Um, so just be careful of that kind of thing. When you're going from different sites to different sites, try and make sure you're getting a reputable website from either a discord or a telegram or somebody you trust. Um, just don't click on things randomly. Even if it's somebody leaving it in the discord, unless you can verify that's the correct one, I'd almost be careful of that. Um, make sure you dis disconnect your wallet from any site uh, you're using after you're done using it. Never keep your wallet connected to any site. So what they mean by that is there's a couple of things you can do. One of them in particular is going inside here, clicking on this guy here, and then connected sites. So the three dots and then connected sites. This will give you all the sites that you've invested in. Like I, I, I need to practice what I preach. I'm going to need to go in here and look through this because there's probably a bunch of sites there that I don't uh, access anymore. And the issue with even those older ones is if somehow somebody gets ownership of the contract away uh, that shouldn't have it, then maybe they could again open a back door. The other thing you can actually do for that, and I'm going to pause for a second and pull up a website. Okay, so this is Unracked, uh, so app.unracked.net. Um, so there's sites, there's other sites like this one, but basically, uh, you notice that you basically can go to any contract and you can revoke it. It's a little bit more powerful from what, from what I understand than just disconnecting it from your MetaMask, as I showed you. Like I said, you can go in here, and I got to check some of these out because I think I've, there's some I probably should get off here. But those three dots and connected sites, so you can go in here and you can just click disconnect. But this will actually revoke the contract completely, um, so it gives no throughput. Uh, and it's not a bad practice to go to some of these sites and actually revoke everything kind of thing from time to time, because I'm sure there's lots of old ones here that, again, I have access to. So i got to practice what I preach a little bit. But um, So either through MetaMask or through that, it's a really good idea to uh, revoke contracts or get rid of them uh, if things have rugged. Um, so it might be a good habit after something rugs, just go in and revoke that contract. Um, if you just are done in that protocol, you've ROI'd and you just, you've taken your money out or whatever, you can, you can pull it off that way as well. Um, there is a, a MetaMask, uh, lock timer in your settings as well. So I'll just show you that when you click on again, your MetaMask and then the three dots, you're going to go, that's right. Uh, the big button here, and then you're going to go to, uh, settings and advanced and when you scroll down here you're gonna see um, right down at the bottom auto lock timer so technically what you can do is set this to one or two or ten minutes or whatever and even when you're on your computer or walk away from your computer it will lock and force you to put your password in again for your MetaMask so not a bad extra little feature kind of thing to make sure that you're protecting yourself from things um, and make sure you're not using your wallet um, to lock it um, so like yeah so the timer again helps you kind of protect it by not by having it locked whenever you're not using it um, because if you have your computer on doing things overnight or whatever uh, that kind of stuff if you're in certain protocols and stuff or mining or whatever you're doing just you need to lock down that wallet when you're not or not you're near your computer um, so that's that and as I said I wanted to have a quick peek at the discord again just to repeat something that I'd gone through um, so Again, when you're looking at here, let's say somebody messages you and it's it's Manny, for instance, or any any of the mods. So let's just go with Crypto Eric because he's here. So if Crypto Eric message DMs you for some reason, there's no reason he will. Uh, but if for some reason he does and you think it's him for whatever reason, uh, then you need to go. Um, <laughs> that's really funny that I literally just said, talked about the unwreck thing and Covner's on here talking about it. Uh, so uh, Crypto Eric right now, he has this four numbers at the end. This is a way you can verify anybody that's messaging you that they're the person you think they are. So if somebody's talked to you recently on a chat, uh, then maybe maybe there's a reason for them to, to DM you. Uh, but again, I would still check this to make sure you know, because maybe somebody's watching and goes, oh, I'll change my name to them. They might trust me. Um, you, you need to be aware and you need to protect yourself from this stuff um, so check the name if it doesn't match then you know you're dealing with somebody just block them um, sometimes you have to turn on your dms inside discord uh, but most of the time you can keep them off uh, so that's another thing to do as well um, so just keep yourself safe and take a moment um, just so you, so you don't get wrecked because this is just it's bad enough we have to deal with rugs and all this other stuff um, it, it really sucks to have to deal with stuff that that you've done to by mistake and I know it hurts to make that kind of mistake uh, but it just sucks to have to lose funds to something like that where you've basically given them away um, and and the 
cleanup is it's worse than losing your actual real life wallet um so so just take those moments uh take that extra time and and protect yourself please uh thanks so much guys hopefully that adds some value and have yourselves a wonderful day